Hey there folks, today I'd like to take a casual peek into the DC Universe Classics versus the Masters of the Universe Classics Aquaman action figure. This set is part of a two pack uh, that includes both Aquaman from DC Universe Classics and Merman from Masters of the Universe Classics. And this video will just focus on the Aquaman figure while a separate video will focus on the Merman figure. This set uh, is a Toys R Us exclusive and was first released in 2010 or 11. Now I did not get this at Toys R Us. I believe I got this as a gift uh, from Gerhawk. So thanks Gerhawk. Yeah, hang loose there. You know, uh, taking a look at the uh, Aquaman figure here in the packaging. And he's on the left. You can see Aquaman here. A clean shaven Aquaman in his classic uh, Aquaman costume of uh, the orange uh, chain mail or scale mail and the uh, green uh, leggings and gloves and he uh, carries a spear which is uh, pretty cool taking a look here at the back of the package you can see a uh, artist rendition of Aquaman and uh, down here we have a biography of Aquaman now we'll be right back and have uh, Aquaman here out of the package. Okay, we're back with Aquaman here, and uh, I quite uh, like uh, this Aquaman. I don't know if it's the same as the original release of Aquaman. I believe it's Wave Two, uh, but uh, it's nonetheless. It's I like uh, this figure. It's very uh, well done, and you can tell that uh, this figure, uh, at least the parts. Uh, from this figure were later reused uh, to create new characters uh, which is always nice and uh, considering that uh, Aquaman has a unique uh, sort of uh, design it's nice to see reuse of his parts but before we take a look at, at the figure in uh, more detail let's go ahead and take a look at the items come, that come included with uh, Aquaman and uh, we'll take a look at this first and this is a mini poster that came included uh, with the two-pack set from the DC Universe Classics versus Masters of the Universe Classics. It depicts the, the two characters from the set, Aquaman and Merman here, uh, duking it out uh, for the realm of the ocean. Uh, and it's uh, nicely uh, painted, or uh, at least uh, nicely uh, drawn on there, and it's actually uh, kind of cool. And uh, on the other side of this, uh, we have a nice backdrop of that same uh, ocean that the two are fighting for. You can see uh, it's the rocks uh, in the background with the waves crashing, just uh, without the figures on there and uh, in more of a landscape mode. And that uh, provides a nice uh, backdrop to use. On here. Uh, next thing we'll take a look at is uh, the one uh, main accessory that comes included with the Aquaman figure, and that's his uh, trident. I mean, I believe that the Trident was included with every version of uh, Aquaman that has been released so far. Uh, the original uh, release, uh, this release, even the two-pack with the Black Manta, uh, and uh, the Ocean Warrior Aquaman. And uh, I think uh, it's the same one, maybe painted differently, I haven't compared it. Uh, but the trident looks uh, very nicely sculpted. Uh, this particular trident, uh, the two uh, side prongs of the trident are very close to the middle uh, prong here. Uh, I think a little bit too close. I think it's just warpage from the packaging on there. Maybe if I could stretch it out a little bit it can get separated. It uh, does look better as opposed to uh, being very close together. It doesn't even look like a trident at that point. Uh, but. Uh, it's made of a softer uh, plastic here uh, on the tips, uh, so you can easily bend it uh, however shape you wish. And uh, you can see some of the details on this. It's painted gold, of course. Uh, you got the nice coral star uh, there, uh, and uh, some uh, what looked like a, a painted gem in purple. Uh, very nicely done. And you have this uh, nice ornate. Uh, I guess handle or uh, the uh, base of the trident there 
Uh, pretty cool and even got some more adornments here uh, maybe uh, for the hand grip area uh, of the trident there and nice uh, sculpted spiral pattern there very cool and then you have the base of the uh, trident there with a nicely sculpted shell which is uh, pretty cool now the Aquaman uh, figure can hold uh, either one-handed or two-handed uh, the uh, the trident is uh, can be held in either hand or both. Uh, you can see the hands are sculpted uh, to hold it on there. And he has a, a depending on where you position the trident, an, an adequate or, or very loose grip uh, at the at the thinnest point, and uh, at the uh, thicker points, especially where the spiral pattern is, he has a much better grip on there. And even uh, you can a have added support with the uh, hand uh, grip area. On the guard area, I guess you can call it. So, very uh, a adequate uh, holding ability on that trident. Uh, but that's a very nice, uh, nicely uh, painted trident there. Now, taking a look at uh, this Aquaman figure, and uh, I quite like it uh, a bit. Uh, and it's got, of course, the uh, unique design of the uh, more classic Aquaman uh, character uh, with the scale mail uh, orange armor there uh, very cool and uh, like I said uh, is reused later on in uh, a lot of other figures I believe it's used on Copperhead and uh, even the uh, uh, Cobra figure the Lord Naga figure and uh, and you can see that uh, when you look at those figures that it, it was based off of this design uh, and you can see a nice uh, sculpting there on the suit uh, of the scale mail armor it's actually uh, very very nice it's painted in orange it has this, this sort of pearlescent uh, sheen to it uh, I don't know if it was a uh, separate paint added on there to make it uh, glisten a little bit which is very nice I really do like that and uh, you can also see the, the added detail on the edge uh, around the shoulders here of gold painted uh, on the edges of his uh, scale mail armor. It's actually uh, kind of cool. Now uh, taking a look at the head, uh, got a very interesting uh, uh, head sculpt there, it, it, especially the hair. It's got this wavy like pattern like if he, as if he was underwater as the ocean is actually moving his hair around. It's actually kind of neat. And uh, one thing I noticed about the head, by the way, is the paint always uh, seems to be a, a very brownish colored paint uh, to Aquaman. I have the Ocean Warrior Aquaman figure and it's got that similar paint application. I, don't, I, I guess that's intended, I'm not sure. Uh, but it's uh, not uh, as uh, lighter skin tone as compared to other DC Universe Classics uh, figures. I, uh, Aquaman always seems to have this darker shade uh, to him, uh, which is interesting. Uh, nice uh, application uh, of paint on the eyes. Uh, the pupils though, are a little small, I noticed, on this particular figure. And uh, others I've seen in stores. Uh, uh, this one is uh, the, uh, the paint application on the eyes is actually pretty good, uh, while others I've seen in stores a little bit wonky, so you really have to watch out for that uh, if you're looking to get an Aquaman figure from the two-pack set. So uh, that, that was uh, kind of interesting there. Uh, looking at the rest of the uh, figure here, you can see the nice uh, gloves uh, used on here with a nice uh, fin-like uh, sculpt. It's actually uh, kind of cool. And uh, here has very nice uh, gold belt. It uh, goes around the figure and the sculpted A there uh, on there. It's very, very cool. I really like that uh, on the sculpt. And then he's got his uh, black colored underoos there and the uh, green leggings uh, on the uh, figure which is actually a nice not completely flat color but it's a nice uh, uh, shade of green there I really like the this uh, color uh, used on the leggings and uh, on the back of the calves here are fins on here uh, they're minor curved inward uh, one more than the other uh, I think this one here is curved a lot more due to warpage in the packaging but uh, Still uh, pretty uh, pretty nice to have uh, this sculpt, and this is also used later on on another character, uh, Shark. And uh, it's again nice reuse of parts uh, for a unique uh, designed uh, character, so that's uh, kind of cool.
Now going over articulation for uh, Aquaman here, uh, the head is on a ball joint uh, allows the head to go all the way around as well as uh, upwards and uh, downwards and uh, slightly, oh no actually not uh, more than slight, uh, side to side, uh, very nice actually on there. Uh, the arms do go all the way around as well as uh, out and in and uh, all the way around at, at the bicep area and uh, bends in and out at the uh, elbow unfortunately no uh, rotation uh, at the top of the glove but there is rotation at the wrist that allows the hand to go all the way around here and the torso for this figure can uh, bend uh, slightly downwards up and uh, very far back and the uh, waist uh, allows the figure to go all the way around in uh, that uh, area and the legs uh, on this figure uh, can go up down, uh, back, and uh, out to the side. And I noticed the uh, forward and back movement on this uh, particular particular figure is a little bit loose. Uh, you can see it uh, wobbling a, a bit there, but uh, the other uh, directions out to the side uh, don't uh, have that uh, problem. Uh, the thighs uh, on this figure can go all the way around, as well as uh, in and out uh, at the knee. Nice and the feet uh, can bend downwards and upwards and uh, there is a nice uh, ankle pivot at the uh, ankle here uh, probably a reuse from the uh, earlier uh, original release of the uh, Aquaman figure overall a very nice figure I really like uh, the costume here uh, it does uh, evoke uh, that classic look to Aquaman and uh, it's very, very, uh, very cool, especially uh, the sculpt and on uh, that, that's uh, reused later on uh, for other figures. This is my uh, casual peek into the DC Universe Classics versus Masters of the Universe Classics uh, Aquaman uh, figure. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.